Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to process the CAM files for a CNC machine to actually mill your printed circuit board. In this case, for the Arial version 6.2 board. Once you have your board all done and laid out, you're going to go up here to CAM processor, click it. You're going to go down here to advanced. This symbol that mirrors Gerber output horizontally, you're going to click that and then go up to Exelon, Advanced, mirror that, and make sure the dots on the top copper and Exelon match up. You see there that they both of them match. You hit Process Job, save it to your selected folder, and that's it. And then we're going to go into a program called FlatCam. I will have a link to this in the description. Once we're in FlatCam, we're going to go to File, Open, Open Gerber. And we're going to navigate to our CAM files. Eagle will automatically create a folder called CAM Outputs. You can go in there. Since we're doing a Gerber, we're going to open Gerber files, select Copper Top, open, and it'll open your board right here. You're going to go and you're going to select the Copper Top, go to Selected, and basically just ignore all of this. Set your boundary margins to 2.54, and then hit Full Geo, and that'll create little paths around everything. And for our feed rate XY, we're going to set it to 300, and our feed rate Z, our plunge, we're gonna set it to about 250 millimeters per second, or minute, sorry. And then we're gonna to go to generate. And this will actually create our CNC paths. And then in our prepend to CNC code, we're gonna type S16500. And that sets our RPM to 16,500. We're gonna to go to save CNC code. And then you save it into the SD card for your CNC. And you click save and, and that's it for the traces. We're gonna go back to project. We're gonna we're gonna delete all this. We're gonna file open open Exelon. Go back navigate back to cam outputs and go into a folder called drill files. Right, there will be a drills XLN. We'll click open and this will be all of the little pinholes that we have in our board. Click the file again. Go to selected cut Z negative two point five four. We're going to set plunge rate to 250 millimeters per minute and then create g-code and then the prepend sierra 16500 and we'll save cnc code but when we go here we're actually going to save it as a g-code for your cnc it may work different but for mine i had to actually save it as a g-code for the, the printer to actually recognize it for some reason it wouldn't recognize nc like it would with the traces i have no idea why and then save that into your SD card, and you're basically done. So here we have our CNC, and right here is a blank board, and I've just attached it right here with glue. Just some regular super glue, you can get it at Hobby Lobby, Harbor Freight, Signer Acolyte glue works best. And on the CNC, I'm using a titanium coated V-shape engraving bit, 0.1 millimeter diameter and 30 degrees. And I just got like 10 of them, because they break often by many of them. For drilling holes, I'm using 0.85 millimeter bits, another 10 pack, you'll break a lot more of those. And just a plywood bed, and I have it home, the bit goes just below this edge. And I always home it first without a bit on it. The bit should be just below, we're gonna bring it down just a little more. The bit is just below the top edge of the copper. We will choose our file, we're gonna use the V-shaped bit for the traces, and hit start. Now, since I'm just doing this for a video, I am I just did a little bit of a trace, but the file does have all traces and it'll do the outline of each trace just like this. And now for the drill. That right there is our 0.85 millimeter bit. We're gonna unload the V-shaped bit and load this bit into the CNC. For the 0.85 millimeter bit, to home it, we're going to set it where it just comes into contact with the plywood bed. All right there. Now that we have our 0.85 millimeter bit loaded into the CNC and correctly homed, we're going to select our file. It's gonna be the drills file and hit start. 